Hi everyone, I'm here with part four of our practice ACT test that we're taking together and going through each of the problems. Um, if you're new to this video, if you go to my channel, you can see the first three parts for the first three pages. We are on page four right now, which is technically page 27 of the practice test that I have linked in the bio. Just a reminder that I'm not affiliated with ACT and these are not my questions. This is just from their website and I'm just doing them to help. So let's get started. Once again, um, I have all the answers circled so from the answer keys so we make sure we're getting back to the correct answer. All right, number 24. The set of all positive integers that are divisible by both 15 and 35 is infinite. What is the least possible integer in this set? So when they say divisible, that doesn't mean like, oh, I can do 15 divided by something. That's a number divided by 15 and a number divided by 35 to get a whole number. So for example, you can't divide five by 15. Five divided by 15 would get you a decimal. 35, same thing. Same with 50, 50 divided by 15, that's not gonna work out for us. So let's check 105. So you can do in your calculator if you want to or your head. 105 divided by 15 is 7, and 105 divided by 35 is 3. So it wants the least positive integer in the set, and this is the least, the smallest number they give us in our answer options. So our answer is letter H. 25. In triangle ABC shown below, the measure of triangle or of angle A is 58 degrees, and AB is congruent to AC. What is the measure of C? So on this one, because we know two of the sides are the same, that means that their opposite angles are the same. So see, that angle and that angle are gonna have the same value because they are opposite of legs that have the same length. They're congruent to each other. So let's figure out a triangle equals 180 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and do 180 minus this A, this 58 here. So 180 minus 58 gets me 122. So B, plus C equals 122. And B and C, both those angles are the same value. So let's just divide 122 divided by two. So 122 divided by two, and that gets me 61. So angle B is 61, and angle C is 61. Those are degrees. So our answer is letter D. About 1.48 times 10 to the eighth square kilometers of the Earth's surface is land. The rest is about 3.63 times 10 to the eighth square kilometers. That's water. If a returning space capsule lands at a random point on Earth's surface, which the following is the best estimate of the probability that the space capsule will land in the water. So we want the probability that we land in water. So that's gonna equal to the, basically how much water there is over the total. Well, it tells us our water is this. 3.63 times 10 to the eighth. Our total is gonna be the land plus the water. So you're gonna do that 1.48, 1.48 plus 3.63. And the reason that I can just add those without doing anything with the scientific notation and exponents is because they both have to the power of eighth. So that means you can just 
deal with the decimal and you don't even have to mess with um, the exponent. So let's go ahead and divide these two. 3.63 divided by 5.11 is, this came out to be 0.71 approximately. Change that to a decimal by moving your decimal place over twice. So I get approximately 71%, which is letter G. On the first seven statistics tests of the semester, Jamal scored 61, 76, 79, 80, 80, 84, and 91. The mean, median, and mode of his scores were 79, 80, and 80, respectively. On the eighth statistic test, Jamal scored a 90. How do the mean, median, and mode of all eight of his scores compare to the mean, median, and mode of his first seven scores? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write right here, mean, median, mode. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and write here are his OG scores and here's his new scores. So it says his mean of the OG was 79, the median was 80, and the mode was 80. So let's write out all his scores. Here are all his scores plus this new 90. Let's write that all out. So 61, 76, 79, 80, 80, 84. I'll put the 90, that's the new test score here. So we're writing it from least to greatest. So let's first find the mean. We're gonna do that by adding up all these numbers and dividing them by how many tests there are, which is eight. So I'm gonna do 61 plus 76 plus 79 plus 80 plus 80 plus 84 plus 90 plus 91 and divide that by 8. So we get approximately 80.125. So his mean is greater. So I'm going to go in and cross out letter A because it says the mean is equal. Your median, remember, is the number in the middle of all of these when the list is written from least to greatest. So let's see what's in the middle. One, two, three. So it looks like our median is 80. So I can cross off B and C. Now we just gotta find the mode. The mode is the number that occurs the most. Look at your list of numbers. The numbers that occur the most is 80. There's two of them, 80, 80. So our mode is equal. So that gets us our answer option E. All right, 28. The solid rectangular prism shown below was built by alternating congruent black cubes and white cubes, such that two cubes of the same color have at most one edge touching. What is the total number of white cubes that were used to build the prism? So the first thing I'm gonna do is, um, this is a solid rectangular prism. So when I see solid, I think of volume. The formula for the volume of a cube is length times width times height. So let's count. This is our length. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks. Here's our width. We have one, two, three, four, five blocks. And our height, one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. So let's plug those in. Seven times five times six. Multiply that out and I get my volume to be 210. Now it only wants a total number of white blocks. As you see, the white blocks take up only half of the prism. So divide your volume by two, and our volume of the total number of white blocks is just gonna be 105, which is letter H.
one side of square ABCD has a length of 12 meters. So I'm gonna actually, I'm just gonna start drawing these photos, C, D. So the length of 12 meters, this is a square. So all these sides are the same. A certain rectangle, here's my rectangle, whose area is equal to the area of ABCD has a width of eight meters. So here's my width. What is the length in meters of the rectangle? So I just labeled that side length. So it says their areas are equal. So the area of this square right here, we know that area is length times width. So the length of this square is 12. And since it's a square, all the sides are the same. So the area of the square is 144. So let's plug in the information we know here too. We know the area is the same as the square. So I'm gonna plug in 144 for this area. We don't know the length and it says the width is eight. So go ahead and just solve this. Divide each side by 144, or I'm sorry, by eight. 144 divided by eight is 18, which is letter C. 30, the average of a list of four numbers is 92. A new list of four numbers has the same first three numbers as the original list, but the fourth number in the original list is 40, and the fourth number in the new list is 48. What is the average of the new list of numbers? All right, so let's start. Um, let's start with the new list. So the new list has the first three same numbers, so x plus x plus x, plus the fourth number is 40. Okay, so this one is the original list. And this one down here will be the new list. And it says the new list, the fourth number is 48. We're taking the average. So you divide it by how many there are. There's four, four. It says the average of the list of the four numbers is 92. And we wanna know what the average of the new list is. So let's solve for x on the top. So on the top, we come out to three x plus 40 over four equals 92. Undo that division with multiplication. I'm gonna move over here. Three X plus 40 equals 90 times four is 360. Subtract each side by 40. Three X is equal to 320. Divide each side by three. Three, three. Oh, and I don't know where I got that 90 from. I apologize. That should be a two. I was wondering, I was like, why is this not coming out? Sorry, 92 times four. Let's fix that real quick. That's 368, 328. There we go. So I think that's, you know, the good thing about multiple choice is that you can kind of like see what mistakes you're possibly making. So I got 328 divided by three and that gets me 109.3 repeating. Point three repeating. Let's put that there. Awesome. And then you're just going to plug it in for all those other X's. So let's plug this in here. 3X plus 48 divided by 4 equals what? 3 times 
plus 48 over 4. Do that in your calculator times 3 plus 48 divided by 4. And you get this comes out to be 94, which is letter H. So I apologize for the mistake there, but easy fix. Last one. The vector I represents one mile per hour east. Okay, this is I. One mile per hour east. And the vector J represents one mile per hour north. Mile per hour north. Maria is jogging south at 12 miles per hour. Which, which of the following vectors represents Maria's velocity in miles per hour? Which one? All right, well, if she's going south, that means she's going the opposite of J, which is negative J. And she's going 12 miles per hour. So this would get me negative 12 J, which is letter B. So I think we're officially halfway through the test now. We have 30 more problems. Um, stick with it. I think this is good practice for your ACT and um, just... Keep trudging through it. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Subscribe if you want more videos.